Additional jet accompanied Zuma on his trip to New York and a bomb scare at ESCOM's headquarters. Good evening, I'm Greg Hose. The South African Air Force has admitted that a plane that shadowed President Jacob Zuma on his recent visit to the U.S. did so all the way to New York. Air Force Chief Carlo Cagliano says the aircraft was there because there was a critical engagement on the way back. This follows conflicting reports earlier this week that a second jet had landed in New York where Zuma was attending a UN meeting. The Air Force's chief statement seems to contradict the Defense Ministry saying yesterday that the second plane only flew halfway and landed in the Canary Islands. The Defense Ministry says it's the military's responsibility to ensure the safety of the President and that he arrives on time for international engagements. Spokesperson Ndiboyo Mabaya. It's neither here nor there whether the plane arrived or not. We have a responsibility to transport the President. So we transport them the best way we know how and we don't have to justify it. We were very clear about that. And I think it must be very clear that there is a South African Air Force which has the responsibility to transport the president. And we have some of the best people in the world. But whether the plane turned halfway, whether the plane arrived there, the initial plan was that it's going to turn halfway. But whether it arrives, stay there for five days, it's neither here nor there. There's been a bomb scare at ESCOM's headquarters in Megawatt Park, north of Johannesburg. ESCOM spokesperson Hilary Joffe. We did have a bomb threat received by telephone at Megawatt Park, our Eskom headquarters today. The Megawatt Park building was evacuated and police were brought in. They searched the building and declared it to be safe and all employees went back to work. The police will be investigating. The taking over of five Limpopo state departments by government wasn't discussed by this week's cabinet Lhotla in Limpopo. Minister in the Presidency, Collins Chibane, briefed the media on the outcome of the three-day meeting. Yesterday, the Finance Minister, Praveen Gordon, laid bare the state of Limpopo's finances, saying the province was technically bankrupt. Chibane says the matter will be discussed at another time. That is a cabinet matter. Here we are meeting as a Lipota, which involves other stakeholders other than cabinet. Cabinet will receive a report as soon as it is So the Limpopo situation was not part of the agenda. The ANC in Limpopo has meanwhile come out with guns blazing, criticizing the finance minister's statement that the provincial government's financial situation is critical. ANC spokesperson Soviet Lekhanyane has denied that the Limpopo government is bankrupt. It must also be placed on record that at the time of the intervention, the provincial government was not at the point of collapse like it has not collapsed now. There is no proof that as at the time of the national government intervention in November or December, the provincial government had exhausted the entire 40 billion allocated to it as an annual appropriation. There is no proof that the budget of Limpopo at that time was exhausted. KwaZulu Natal tourism authorities have hailed the past festive season as the best in a long time. The city of Durban generated more than 2 billion rand in revenue, more than double that of the previous year. Head of the Tourism Department, Philip Sitole. The city of Devon, this year, the income that has been received for two weeks, that will be between Christmas and the New Year's Eve, it was more than 1.2 billion rand. So if you look at the period between the 15th of December to the 15th of January, this year, we have realized more than 1.5 billion rand. So that is a huge injection into the city's economy. The top story, the South African Air Force has admitted that a plane that shadowed President Jacob Zuma on his recent visit to the United States did so all the way to New York.